driving a Smith cover seam machine, the flatbed 500-01 CB. Okay, uh, this is your cotton stand here. You put your thread on the cotton stand, right? You take your thread, you put it in the guide here, you bring it down. All five of them will be the same. So from here, it will go in, in the guides. You got five guides, put them on, on all five guides. Then you come down, you got another five guides here. Then here, you got your guides here. You can use both, both guides or you can just put, use one, right? So here, this, this tensions that you see here, right? Uh, this is for your left needle. This is your center needle. This is the right needle. This is your spreader. And this is the main looper, right? It comes here at the bottom, okay? You take your thread. Now all of them is gonna be the same, yeah? Just on your tensions. You put your thread in these holes here, in the guide. You can use both, or you can use just one, right? We're using a normal phone, so it might not be that clear, but we'll try, okay? So you put it in the guide here, in this guide that you see here. In between your tension does, make, your, make sure your thread is in between there. It comes out and it will go in here, right? This three is exactly the same. This two here that you see for your spreader and your looper got these additional two guides. You can put them, it goes in, basically it will go in here, it will go in from the back, it will come out here, and then it goes again in your tension, exactly like how the other ones did, right? So these are all the same. Comes in the guide here, in between the tension disc, it comes out, it will go in here, okay? Then, Let's start with the needles, right? If you look at all of them, they got three guides here. Can you see? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right? There's another three here, right? And then your, your take up lever guide, three here, okay? So I'm gonna take the first thread. Let me, let me, let me start, then you can just see what I'm doing here. Take the thread. Put it in the far right. right. Let me put this one in here. Take it out. And you put it in here. And you come down. In here. Cover seam machines, overlock machines, they take a while to thread, so you need to be patient. Right, you take your thread from underneath, just pull it through this guide here. And you can turn your wheel a little bit for access, or if you can get it through, get it through here. You got your guide here. Can you see here? Now if you can see, take it out, it will come out there. When this is done, you take it in back in this guide and then you bring it down here. In this guide. In between there. Then. You put it in here left needle left needle guide and then in your needle you put it in the eye of the needle after you've threaded everything else right the other two is exactly the same you just need to follow the guide they're exactly the same so i don't think i need to go through the whole step again right it's exactly the same it obviously the center one will go into the cent center eye the one at the bottom will go into the one at the bottom, right? And then, uh, so now, uh, I'm sure you're okay with the needles. We can go, o we can move over to the spreader, right? Which is the looper, right? So, threading it, the tension is already done here. You take your thread, you in here, in this guide here. Then you got like a button here. 
that this whole mechanism will pop out all right when you're done threading you need to push it back okay so you take this you you press it that mechanism will pop out if you want to take this plate out you can take it out all right so you can see clearly you take your thread now put it in here okay in between this tension this guide okay in between there then you got two eyes here two two guides here this one and this one here okay nice to turn the wheel right so this piece if you can see here this shouldn't be in the way this here so you can just turn the wheel if it is in the way we're gonna try now and put it in the in the guide here And pull it right through and then in the next guide so basically it will go in this guide in between this tension disc then in this guide that you see here, it's a bit difficult with the phone. Uh, in this guide here, then you're gonna pull it right through here, and then you got another guide that's here. Uh, that's here. Here's the thread coming out. All right. So once it comes out, you got another guide that's here. Before the looper, pull it through there. Okay. Then you can turn the wheel. So you can, so the looper is visible. You take your thread, put it in the looper, like that. Pull it out, back in, within the front of the looper, like that. That's it, that's your looper, the main looper, and you can push it if you like. Or before you start stitching, or, or when you're done threading everything, you can push it back, right? I'm going to move on to the spreader. The tension obviously the same again here. Like how I showed you. You take your thread now. And you got the guide here. Put it in this guide that you see here. Put it in the next guide here. Alright. Then you got another guide here. Let's turn the wheel a little bit. You put it in here. In the center there's an uh, let me just try and get to it. You put it in this guide here. Any one of them, there's two of them there, you can put it in either one. Put it in the first one, then you turn the wheel, put it in the center one, or the bottom. And then in the third one, you'll see there's two or three guides. It's very, very difficult to capture it in the camera. Right, this is the second one here. Let me pull it out and you can see here. So this is the first one. Then the second one is here, and then the third one is here behind. Okay. Just turn the wheel every time for easier access. Right. We put it in now. Then we take the thread and go down with it. Okay, then we got a guide here, this guide here. Put it in the first one. There. Take your thread, put it in between the tension disc here. In the guide here. Okay. This one's it.
So in between the tension in this guide here, bring your thread down, put it in this guide that you see here. So here, in between this tension disc, in this guide, in this guide. Then you got another guide that's here. Put it in there. Okay. Then you hold your thread in your hand. You turn the wheel a little bit and you take your thread and you hook it like this. Just like that. So you will hook over this, the spreader piece here. Once everything is threaded, you close up, close everything and then you, you can start stitching. This here is your oil window. You put your oil in here, right? As you're using your machine, you'll see the oil splashing here. Okay.